So let's continue with question number two. In a school election for the position of SRC president, one candidate obtained 87.5% of the vote cast. The other candidates obtained a total of 275 votes. A. How many votes did the winner obtain? And then B. If the voter turnout was 55%, find the total number of eligible voters in the school. So let's solve this question together. Now we are being told from the question that in an SLC presidential election, one candidate obtained 87.5% of the votes cast and the other candidates combined obtained a total of 275 votes. So first of all, let that one candidate be represented by the letter X and then the combination of the other candidates be represented with the letter Y. So we say that let one candidate or better still that one candidate be represented with the letter or be represented with the letter X and the other the other candidates be represented be represented with the letter Y now that's one candidate obtained 87.5% of the votes cast so we have X percent equals 87.5 and then we are being told that the other candidates obtained a total of 275 votes so we have y to be equal to 275 votes now take notice of the difference here we have this to be x percentage and so this value is in percentage or this value is a percentage and then y is actual vote counts so we have this to be a number while this is a percentage now a we are supposed to find the number of votes the winner obtained now looking at this question you realize that that one candidate obtained 87.5 percent which is actually the greatest percentage in the election now so long as we have one candidate obtaining the greatest percentage then it means that obviously he was the winner of the election we know that the total percentage total percentage the total percentage is equal to 100 percent and actually that is the same as or is equal to the percentage obtained by x and then the percentage obtained by y so that is equal to x percent plus y percent so the total percentage is equal to x percentage plus y percentage so at this point we know the total percentage which is 100 percent and then we know the total percentage for x which is 87.5 percent so we can find the percentage for y therefore we say that y percent is equal to 100 percent minus 87.5 percent and then that is equal to 12.5 percent so we have y percent to be equal to 12.5 now this 12.5 which is a percentage corresponds to 275 votes now if we know that 12.5 percent corresponds to 275 votes then what this means is that we can find the number of actual votes that 87.5 percent corresponds to so using ratio and proportion we say that if 12.5 percent if 12.5 percent corresponds to 275 votes then 
87.5% corresponds to X number of votes. So at this point, you want to cross multiply. So when you cross multiply, you are going to have X times 12.5. So we have 12.5 times X equals 87.5 times 275. So because we want to find the value of X, we divide through both sides by 12.5. And then we have x to be equal to now 12.5 goes here once it goes here seven times so we have seven times 275 and that is equal to 1925 so the winner obtained 1925 votes now let's move on to b if the voter turnout was 55 percent find the total number of eligible voters in the school so what do we actually mean by voter turnout so voter turnout is basically the percentage of voters out of the total percentage who were registered for the election so if the voter turnout was 55 percent it means that out of the total 100% of voters who were registered or who were eligible, one way or the other, only 55% were able to vote. Now, this 55% corresponds to the total number of people who voted. So, first of all, we need to find the total number of people who voted, or better still, the total number of votes. So, to find the total number of votes, We have the total number of votes is equal to the number of X votes plus the number of Y votes. So we have the number of X votes to be 1,925 and the number of Y votes to be 275. So we are going to have 1,925 plus 275 and basically that is equal to 2,200. So the total number of votes is equal to 2,200. So this 2,200 votes corresponds to the voter turnout, which is 55%. So it means that out of the 100% who were eligible or who were registered for the election, 55% of them were able to vote. And this 55% corresponds to 2,200 votes. So if you want to find the total number of eligible voters, or better still, the total number of people or voters who were registered for the election, basically we are going to use ratio and proportion. So we say that if 55% is equal to 2,200 votes, then... 100% is equal to, so we introduce a new variable, say z. Now we cross multiply and then we have z times 55% to be equal to 100% times 2200 votes. Now at this point, since we want to find the value of Z, let's divide through by 55%. So percentage cancels out percentage. We are left with Z is equal to 100 times 
2200 divided by 55 55 goes here once 55 goes here 40 times and then we have z equals 100 times 40 which is 4000 therefore the total number of eligible voters is equal to 4000 the total number of eligible voters is 4000 and then for a at the end of our solution we need to write that the winner the winner obtained 1925 votes so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye